What's up guys, you know who it is, and today I'm going to walk you guys through uh, how to set the Zellman cooler up and mount it onto your CPU. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. I'm going to basically read it right off the directions and give a video for you guys uh, with my opinions and uh, tips and tricks maybe on how to get this done the easiest. So, here we go. So the first step here is going to be to... Uh, loosen these screws up on the bottom of the cooler a little bit and uh, just enough to be able to slide these uh, little brackets in there and you gotta make sure you get the right one for your socket and your board and then basically what you're gonna do is slide it in between um, the plate that makes contact with your CPU and the uh, mounting plate that holds the, uh, the heat sink Alright, so there we go, got both the brackets on there, and I'll give you guys an aerial view on this to see how they kind of need to be mounted. So, the part that sticks out, the little bump, needs to be toward what your motherboard would be. Alright, you see that? Where the bump is? It comes down like that, not facing the other way toward the cooler. Alright, that's how we need to do that. And so... Next thing it looks like we need to do is uh, put the uh, back plate on. So we're going to put that together and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. Alright, so I'm going to try and show you guys this. Um, once again, can't find my tripod, don't know what the hell happened to it. Um, I'm going to try and show you this. So you got these little uh, black bolt or screw holders and then you have the, uh, the hex um, kind of hexagonal shaped top and with the um, side with the divots facing up you need to go underneath and um, I have 1366 socket so I need to go in the uh, far outer screw hole here and um, once again with the parallel wing um, divot facing up, go underneath and put the um, screw into, I guess it's kind of like a nut actually, the nut into, up into the respective uh, opening in the bracket here, the hole, and then um, make sure it fits in there so it's not going to twist and turn anything, alright? Make sure it goes all the way up in, and uh, right, that's what she said, right? Um, and then put your uh, little clip to secure the uh, nut in there. Not exactly sure how well that showed up. See, divot facing up, we got the nut on there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the others, and I'll uh, get back to you guys. Alright, so here we go. Um, got this uh, double-sided tape with a little foam in it uh, we got put on here um, for the other installations it looks like you got to use this little black thing called the loading block um, for 1366 um, 1156 and 1155 sockets don't need it throw it aside get rid of it whatever you got to do um, you just need this little foam square thing all right so first thing I do is punch the center out all right Get rid of the center, and then you got to take off the uh, double-sided tape on the one side. Get this off of here, and take this and stick this down. Try and get as close as you can onto the bracket. All right, got that down, and uh, this is still with these. Uh, I don't know what to say. The parallel wings, I guess. The two parallel wings still, the groove is still facing up. And you put that, uh, put that, uh, foam with double sided tape right on there. And, uh, on to the next step. Alright, so this is probably going to be the most difficult part to show here. Um, because we got to get this back plane bracket onto the back of the mother port here. Um, and I got to try and do it while being in frame and getting it into the right spot. So we'll see if we can do this here. Uh, Alright, so there's the back of the board. Got it laying down on its side. 
and you got to pull the uh, double-sided tape on this side off and then with the parallel grooves facing in toward the board so we got the adhesive and the grooves on this side flip it so it faces the board and try and find one of the bolt holes and press it into the CPU or the back of the CPU and into the board that's what we're going to try and do here and it should fit perfectly around the back plane that's already there alright so we got that done and next thing we got to do is put some thermal paste on here and uh, get this going we got to clean this old off get some new on and uh, we'll go from there alright so here we go for the final part we're going to put this uh, massive cooler onto the uh, processor here so uh, we're going to go ahead and do this right quick I'm going to close it up, got the thermal paste on there and uh, make sure you're always grounded of course um, got the case plugged into the wall got the little wristband thing on and you always want to make sure you're grounded when messing with the board and the processor um, so anyways looking at this heat sink um, you can see there's a bigger fin and a smaller fin. The bigger fin goes toward the, um, where you want the air to go. So it comes from the smaller fin and goes to the bigger fin. So in this case it's going to be the back of the case um, like most and we're going to go ahead and throw this on here.